Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about the mean and the standard deviation of ozone distribution. So I'll share my screen with you. A copy machine randomly puts out 10 blank sheets per 500 copies processed. The copy machine is given a job of consisting of 300 copies. Find A, the mean number of blank sheets for this job, and B, the standard deviation of the number of blank sheets. Okay, so this is a problem on POSO distribution, and I'll write again the formula for the pozo distribution so probability of x given lambda is the mean i'll explain in a minute is e to the power of minus lambda and the multiplied by lambda to the power of x divided by x factorial so Lambda, this is lambda, okay, is equal to mean number of occurrences of occurrences per unit volume time area etc okay so <clears throat> we have been given uh, the copy machine randomly puts out 10 blank sheets per 100 per 500 copies processed and we have the copy machine gets a job of 300 copies so 10 blank sheets per 500 copies processed. So how many blank sheets can I expect? How many blank sheets blank sheets Can I explain? Can I expect in a job blank sheets? I should say on the average. Can I expect in a job of three hundred pages, three hundred copies? Okay, so that will be equal to ten blank sheets or 500 copies produced, and my job is size is 300. So it will be equal to 10 divided by 5 multiplied by 3, which is 2 times 3 is 6. So my lambda, which is equal to mean number of blank copies for 300 job for 300 copy job lambda is equal to 6 and that's your mean number that's part a okay now we have to create some space for us so variance or standard deviation in pozo distribution 
is equal to square root of lambda. So in this case, it will be square root of 6. So <laughs> in my TI-84 calculator, <laughs> I will press. So let's use the TI-84 calculator. So TI-84 to find this. So press the second button on the top left corner. And then the X square button, which is in the first column, extreme left column. Halfway down is X square. So second button and then X square button. That gives me the square root. Inside the square root, type 6 and then enter. So... And standard deviation. The square root of 6 equal to 2.45. So the mean is 6 and standard deviation is 2.45. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Also, if you like to like this video, please uh, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. See you next time when I come back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.